masks to mark the phases of the moon or bridge the earth and sky, a giant rainbow serpent made of plastic petrol cans, a stereographic projection of the African skies, and about 100 other objects are in the exhibition African Cosmos Stellar Arts. Christine Mullen Kramer is curator. We're talking about uh, the knowledge of the heavens as practiced in the arts, as informing the creation of works of art. There are works by traditional artists from the 19th and 20th centuries, and much older works, like this rare image of the goddess Sopdet, who represented the brightest star in the sky to the ancient Egyptians. The importance of Sirius to the ancient Egyptians is that the sighting of that star uh, would then herald uh, the flooding of the Nile River and thus fertilizing the land for agriculture each year. Throughout the exhibition are works by contemporary artists. Day for Night by South African William Kentridge suggests the cosmos by using a negative image of ants crawling across lines of sugar. Carl Nell, also from South Africa, says trembling field is an interpretation of a phenomenon called lensing. Which is how light or radio waves or infrared or x-ray waves are bent in deep space. And uh, in that bending, uh, what we call lensing, uh, we are alerted to the presence of uh, what turns out to be dark matter or dark energy. Nell collaborated with scientists on this work, Deep Survey, a video simulation of deep space using scientific data. He contributed the sound, crickets. I uh, find that when I'm working in my studio in Africa at night, I have my big doors open, and uh, when I hear the crickets, They sound to me like the sounds of deep space. Actual sounds from deep space can be heard elsewhere in the exhibition. The natural vibration of the stars have been sped up to make them audible. The works in African cosmos, both ancient and contemporary, reveal the continuing struggle to find mankind's place in the vastness of the universe. Susan Logue, VOA News, Washington.